Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite planner supplies that I've been enjoying all through the month of April. I also have a few lifestyle extras that I wanted to go over with you as well. So the first thing of course is my Erin Condren Life Planner. This is always a favorite every single month so I don't ever really include it in my favorites video but it is my favorite planner. Um, my favorite planner spread this month was so hard to choose from. I love every single one of my spreads. I mean, I just love decorating my planner, so there is no spread that I absolutely hate, so I really do enjoy them all. Um, but this month, I have been really enjoying the Purple Petal set. I mean, purple is my favorite color, so it was easy to choose this one. I absolutely loved the um, touch of yellow cream color in here as well. I thought that was really nice. Um, I really enjoyed Crazy Confetti's April kit as well. So you can see her colors um, are really purple as well, but with the mint green. And she does have uh, more glossy stickers now, which I really like as well. Um, but my favorite little square, I have a squ favorite square. I mean, out of this whole like month, this is definitely my favorite square. I'll try and get a close up for you, but it, it was Earth Day and I had a little freebie sample that I use on this square and I just absolutely loved it. Um, my favorite for sure. Now my favorite pen this month, I absolutely love pens. So I do get partial to one every single month. Um, I usually use it until the ink is gone, which is amazing for some people, but I really do get addicted to pens. So um, this one this month is the crown pen. It is super gorgeous. I really like the weight to it as well. It has a nice sturdy weight to it, so not too flimsy. Um, it has a really nice gold crown, of course, up top. And then the tip here is also gold. Um, I will probably insert a clip of um, how it writes. It does have a really fine tip with a black ink. It is super easy to write with. So I've actually been gravitating towards this one all month. And it also has a little quote up top. It says, love magic mirror. So cute. I've also had quite a few new releases for my shop for the month of April, plus I've made a lot of changes to my stickers. So the sets and the actual um, normal icon stickers as well. Um, I do have a whole giveaway going on right now that will be going on until next Saturday. So if you guys have not um, checked out that giveaway video, I'll leave a little card over here that you guys can check that out. It is a giveaway for every single new release that I had in April. So definitely check that out. Um, my favorite change this month has to be the date covers. So previously all of my sets only came with one week's worth of date covers and then sometimes two, but you had to write them in. And you know, I just didn't really want to do that myself. So I figured you guys didn't want to do it either. So I decided to revamp the whole thing and add a full month's worth of date covers. So now it comes with five Mondays through Sunday. It also comes with 31 dates plus a few little extras that you can write on and do whatever you like with them. So now you can use these for the whole month and any month of the year. So yeah, that's definitely my favorite chain. Favorite actual new release have been my monthly kits. So this one for the month of June is definitely my favorite. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love all of the floral colors. So it comes with two long borders, also some little um, squares here and money signs. It comes with two different sheets. So this one um, comes with all these boxes that have this month on it, all the little numbers here. So that's a new little change. I absolutely love that. And then just a few icons that I thought that everybody would like to use for the whole month of June. So yeah, that's definitely my favorite release for the month. So you guys know I actually love all stickers, not just Etsy stickers. So one of my favorite sticker books this month is the Darius sticker book. I get these at Michael's. They're only a dollar, so really worth it. Um, this one here is called the Poolside Pops and More. I've been really enjoying this for April, probably because I came out with my Pineapple Paradise set, and that's a very tropical feel to it, which is the same for this 
this sticker book. I've been using these stickers to decorate your guys' packages when you um, make any orders through my Etsy shop. And you guys can see here, I've already gone through tons of pages of this sticker book already and this one's already almost gone as well they just have so many cute little prints on here some little alligators lizards playing drums oh my gosh some flowers of course so yeah this has definitely been something i've been using all month long now my favorite washi this month was actually pretty easy to choose from even though i have a ton of washi this um washi in particular really matched the the April color scheme in the Erin Condren. So it had some purple and teal colors. I believe I used it twice in my April month, but I've been using this all month long for other things around the house. I literally have washi for everything. I'm sticking notes everywhere with washi. So um, definitely gets used in my house. Um, this one is such a fun, bright color. So really nice purple, blue, um, teals, like I said, some little white and even some red in there. I just thought it was such a gorgeous washi to use this month. I have a few planner accessories and I know you guys are going to think it's so weird, but I have pulled out my sun paper clip already. I had so much snow this winter and I've even been getting snow in the beginning of May and I really needed some sunshine. So this guy has helped me at least um, pretend that there's some sun around me. It is such a cute little paper clip. I believe I got it from um, Pink Hearts and Kisses Boutique. I'll leave the link down below if I can find it. She does such an awesome job with her paper clips. So you guys can see this is a jumbo paper clip, which I absolutely love using in my Erin Condren. Um, such a cute little felt sun here. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love to look in this guy. And then to go along with that, I broke out my gold Erin Condren band as well. I just thought that they were so nice together. So yeah, I know it's weird. April I wanted the spring to hit early except winter just kind of dragged on so I needed a little sun in my life so I loved these guys. Now I also have a favorite desk accessory this month. As you guys can see I have a ton of stuff on my desk behind me. I also have a ton of stuff in front of me as well so if you guys want to see like an updated desk slash vanity tour definitely let me know down below it is a lot different than the old one so yeah I think that that'd be fun to film again if you guys want to see it so my favorite accessory this month adorable little plaque oh my gosh isn't this so cute so my best friend made this for me for Christmas and I absolutely love looking at it every single day it's just such a great reminder to do what you love so I just thought that was so thoughtful and nice of her to give this to me so definitely a favorite every month I usually have a favorite project I'm usually always working on something but for April I was really focused on my new releases and getting out new stickers so I didn't really have any projects that I wanted to do or had time to do so I have though a favorite collab video that I did with my friend Nikki from Nikki's Planet. Her and I did the YouTuber tag. We actually came up with all of the questions. Um, a lot of them um, are really just to get to know each other. Like her and I are just starting to get to know each other. So we thought it would be fun to have questions to ask each other. So if you guys didn't see that video, I'll leave a little link over here. So definitely check that out. It was just so much fun to film. And then I'll leave um, Nikki's channel down below if you wanna check her out as well. I also have a favorite lifestyle item and that is my Fitbit. Oh my gosh, I have been loving my Fitbit. I actually have the Fitbit Flex so you guys can see I have a ton of different bands for this. I've had my Fitbit for over a year now and I never take this little guy off. Even on Sunday when I technically have the day off, I still want to know how many steps that I have. Um, so I have quite a few little bands here. The Fitbit Flex I believe is the only one that you can change out the bands. I've had two other 
their Fitbit and I really liked them. They do a little bit more functionality, but I decided to give that up so that I could change out my bands, especially for work. Um, so this black and white little heart one is really nice when I go to work because I do have a uniform, so it's nice to match that up. And then for my other days when I'm not working, I can change out my band for that. They also updated their software this month, so they have an hourly progress report as well. So um, it doesn't buzz or anything on my Fitbit, although I think that on the charge or some of the um, newer models that it might um, vibrate and let you know that you need to get up. Um, I actually just set an alarm on my cell phone to make sure that I got up and it gives you like a little green dot when you hit 250 steps for the hour. So I thought that that was a nice little extra motivation to give us as well. So that's definitely been my favorite probably for the whole year, but especially for the month of April, adding that new little change really sparked my interest with Fitbit again. Okay, and I also have to mention my saddest moment for the month of April. Oh my gosh, guys, you guys got to know what it is. It is Prince. Oh my goodness. Could you guys even imagine? It still gives me the chills. So I was so super sad. I actually have the CNN app on my phone. So it alerts me when something big happens. And it alerted me that morning that um, an ambulance was called to Prince's house. And I literally was praying, please let it not be Prince. Not that I wanted it to be anybody else, but I definitely did not want it to hear that Prince um, had passed away. Oh my gosh, that is still brings tears to my eyes. I grew up listening to Prince. He was one of my favorite artists. Just an exceptional artist. I mean, um, we have lost so many wonderful people and I am so sad to have lost Prince. I mean, I wonder if it is only my generation that feels this way about Prince. I mean, um, do you guys have a story? Do you know where you were or what happened? How you found out that Prince passed away? Let me know down below. Oh, I'd love to hear. So I definitely don't want to end that on a sad note. I want to let you guys know I love and care about each and every one of you. So please take care of your health, your mind, and your wellness. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!